Hello, everybody. I'm going to show you in this tutorial a digital drawing application that is free and available on Google, and it is Google Canvas. So to get to it, I just simply typed in Google Canvas, and it should be the first one that comes up. You can go ahead and click it, and it will take you to a blank screen. I'm going to hit home, though, just to show you. So if you've already used it, it's a blank canvas, and you can click New Drawing, or in another tutorial, I'll show you when we're working with an image to practice. So I'm gonna go ahead and click new drawing. And inside of the new drawing, I wanna show you some of the features that are on the sidebar for tools to use that imitate uh, physically drawing. I do wanna make sure though, I um, let's go over the layers first actually. So we're working in this layer right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add a color just so we can see what we're working with. Okay, so in my drawing, I have a background color. So that's the first layer and we're not able to mess with the first layer. It's there, it's saved. I cannot look at it by getting rid of it by closing the eye, like canceling it, deleting it, or I can open the eye to show that background layer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep the eye open so you can see the background layer, so we can see what the tools look like. And then I am in the second layer. So what I mean by that is that I've selected the second layer to work in so that if I make a mark, it is only happening in this second layer. If I close it, you can see what goes away. So that layer is hidden. And I'm gonna go ahead and undo those marks. Okay, so we're in the second layer. So all of the marks are saved in this um, second layer. So it's almost like if you had a cake and you're putting, um, gosh, I'm not a good baker, but if you have like the cake and then you have icing and then you have another layer of cake and then you have icing and you're just building that up or like a sandwich. I should have used that example. It's like a sandwich. If you're building a sandwich with bread and then you've got the meat and you've got the cheese, and then the tomatoes, and you're layering all those things up and stacking it, you can see that. But since this is digital, it's hidden. So the layers that we're working with are being stacked. And when you hide them, it's like you're not ripping it out of the sandwich. It's just like going in invisible mode. So you don't see it anymore. So I'm going to keep that layer on. I'm going to go ahead and I thought it undid it, but I'm just going to erase it to be safe. Okay. So on the toolbar over here, you can pick what tool you want to work with. So we have a pencil, we have a fine point uh, calligraphy tool, we have a marker, there is a piece of chalk or almost like charcoal, and then the eraser. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the pencil. We can select any color in the palette or you can make a custom color. I'm gonna keep it on black so that way we can see uh, what's going on on top of the screen layer. And we're in the pencil or we're, we've selected the pencil and I can change the size of my pencil line and I can also change the opacity or the translucency. So what I mean by that is if I, let's start with the bigger size. If I have it a large size and we can see how bold this uh, line is or how much we can see it, that's the opacity. If I make it a low opacity, that means it's becoming almost see-through. It's not going to be as solid. So the opacity is the solidness of the color and that size is the same. So look how light that is. I'm going to go ahead and pump the opacity up and I'm going to change the size of the line so you can see what it looks like. So it's getting thinner as I'm going down in the size. And that's really, really thin line. So that's what the pencil looks like, and you can change it with the color too. The calligraphy tool, same thing. So I'm gonna keep the size, I'm gonna start large. So it's pretty thick. The more I go down, that line should get thinner until it's really small and you can notice the difference. So there might be times you wanna use smaller lines, thicker lines, depending on what you're working with. Same thing with the opacity, if you want a line that's more translucent, you would bring the opacity down. All right, so I'm gonna show the marker. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the large. It's really, really large. It's imitating what it would be like to draw with a thick Sharpie. 
in uh, hand drawing. Size changes the type of thickness of the line so we can notice a difference. And then there's the small. And if you were making it uh, less opaque, more translucent, it would be almost see-through. The chalk, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the uh, thick or chalk. So it imitates chalk or more like charcoal. You can see the size. And then again, that opacity. So almost like if you're doing an underdrawing, um, just to get a feel for things, maybe you want the lines to show up really light. So you can also go back in with the eraser and get rid of what you just did, or maybe you need to clean up the edges of something. So the eraser is nice to know about. You can also change the size of the eraser to make it really big if you had to erase a large area, or if you needed to do more detail work and erase a smaller area, maybe you're just cutting off a certain line and you don't wanna delete the entire thing, that eraser is nice to clean up some of your work. So I would like to now talk about how I mentioned the eraser is an option for cleaning up some of your work if you don't wanna delete the entire thing. Instead of erasing the whole thing you just did, you can go into your layer and let's say you don't like it or you just want to start over, fresh clean slate, instead of just um, hiding it with the eye tool by you can delete it if you would like to do that as well. So um, you can only delete it though. I meant to say that you can only delete it when you are working in a second layer. So if I create another layer, then it just needs that to be happening and I can go ahead and delete this layer. And then it should be gone. There we go, just had to catch up. So then I have a fresh clean slate to start with. So that are those are just some of the basics of Google Canvas. And we'll be working with some practice worksheets in Google Canvas for you to try out and get used to this application um, from here on out.